G Herbo speaks out about a lawsuit brought to him by his law firm that he had when he was fighting the fraud case. I'm gonna let y'all check out his video and make sure y'all uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. It's the lab. So instead of like writing one of those big long paragraphs where people issue statements, I figure I'd rather just talk about it on video. And I wish I didn't even have to address this kind of stuff because I don't know if I could avoid talking about stuff publicly or if I could avoid any kind of public perception of my personal life and my business, I would do the opposite. But anyway, I want to address this lawsuit and my greedy, shysty ass law firm, Prince Lobo, that I hired. First of all, I paid y'all a million dollars. A million dollars. I think a little over a million dollars. But this this invoice of what y'all suing me for put y'all well over a million dollars. And I didn't even go to trial. I pled guilty. I pled guilty to something I had minor a little involvement in in the first place. And I only had my name on five pages of discovery. So out of the million or whatever pages of discovery that y'all read, because that's what y'all wanted to do so y'all could charge me by the hour. My name was only on five pages of this shit. Only on five pages of discovery. I went into the courtroom pleading guilty and I was able to walk home, walk out of the courtroom and be with my family remain free based off of mitigation. And for those who don't know what mitigation is, mitigation is basically uh, an argument based upon who I am as a person. The community work and the stuff that I do in the community and who I am as a man, as a father, the mental health work that I do in the community. I didn't catch a case and start doing that shit. I was doing this before I caught the case. So basically, I went into the courtroom and was able to walk home free based off who I am as a person. My lawyers ain't even really do shit. You know how to like when people catch cases and they beat the case and they take pictures with their lawyer like, oh, thank you. I didn't have to do that because I pled guilty to the shit. I didn't have to go to trial and my argument was who I am as a person and the likeliness that that'll never happen again, first of all. And second of all, let me touch on, I'm glad this shit over so I can speak on it. I don't know how to do fraud. I was fighting a case for conspiracy to commit wire fraud and identity theft. I ain't never did fraud a day in my fucking life. I don't even know how to work my phone. I don't know how to work a computer. I went to jail for paying a nigga hundreds of thousands of dollars to do shit for goods and services when I was 18 years old. I was a fucking kid. I was 18, 19 years old, paying a nigga 20,000 for a jet, 15,000 for a crib. Thousands of dollars for cars, rental cars and shit. And he doing that shit illegally. That ain't had nothing to do with me. I didn't know what the fuck he was doing. I wasn't even thinking about it. I was a fucking kid. I had money already. I wasn't going to steal from people. I wasn't stealing people's credit cards and taking their identity to go further my career or do something to help me. Like, be for real. So, anyways, let's touch back on this subject. Also, y'all misinformed me that I would even be debanked. That I was going to get debanked and banks wouldn't even allow my business anymore after I fought this case. So on top of that, I had to get big ass checks sent back to me and then figure out which bank gonna take me so I could put the money that I already have in the bank and I can't even make no new money. I got millions of dollars in deals on the table right now that I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the checks that I have already and where they gonna send these new wires because y'all misinformed me that I would be, that I would lose business and be deep bank behind this shit. So not only did y'all overcharge me, y'all misinformed me, y'all misrepresented me, and y'all took advantage of me. And y'all think just because I'm young and black and successful and I'm an artist that I'm uneducated. Like, I don't know right from wrong. I should have never paid a million dollars to y'all in the first place. Everybody on my team advised me to sue y'all for excessive billing, but I never did that. So now y'all suing me because y'all greedy and money hungry and y'all feel like I owe y'all 230000 which I don't feel like I owe y'all shit. But if y'all would have reached out to my team before issuing this public lawsuit, we could have we would have paid y'all. We would have got to the bottom of it. And my team would have informed y'all that y'all didn't tell me that I would be debanked. So now I got to figure out where to put all my fucking money. Where to put my money and where to receive my new money to even pay y'all in the first place. That's crazy to me. But... I just wanted to speak about it publicly because people get the wrong message and they get, you know what I'm saying, shit to go through loopholes and people will look like, oh yeah, I, I stole or I'm in the wrong. I honestly am not in the wrong. Y'all misinformed me, y'all misrepresented me, y'all took advantage of me. I paid y'all a million dollars, I didn't go to trial. It's people who fight murder charges that didn't have to pay a million dollars to their attorney. Like, I don't know, but it is what it is. 
I'm going to deal with it. My team going to deal with it. It's not really affecting my day-to-day -day life. The only thing that I'm bothered by is the fact that I'm having millions of dollars on hold because I got to figure out which banks to take me because y'all didn't tell me that I would be debanked because of this. And I had no involvement in the case. Y'all knew I had no involvement in this case. Y'all know I don't do fraud. I never done fraud in my life. And I'm suffering from this shit because I didn't tell on a nigga because I didn't snitch. That's the reason why I'm fighting this case because I didn't tell on a nigga. But it is what it is, man. And I wanted to just issue this public statement because I see it's going viral everywhere. And my fans, you know, I feel like they deserve a, a statement from me behind this because I'm not going to run off on a $230,000 bill. I already paid y'all a million dollars. And I didn't even know that y'all was about to issue this public lawsuit. And I'm innocent. <laughs> I didn't even do shit, but it's all good.